Hi there, thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to be talking about three things that every Kenyan national must bear in mind before applying for a Canadian study permit. Three things that every Kenyan national must bear in mind before applying for a Canadian study permit. So please, uh, don't go away, we'll be right back. As always, remember to like our video so others may see more videos like this. Uh, subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified the next time we publish a video. And check us out on our website at go.goostlaw.com. I'll be right back. Hi there, welcome back. My name is Donovan Francis and I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer and I help um, businesses, families and individuals with their Canadian immigration applications and save you from having to deal with all of the complicated immigration laws that are part of that process. In this video, I wanted to speak specifically to Kenyan nationals who are thinking of studying in Canada and therefore applying for a Canadian study permit. Now, Canada is a very attractive uh, destination for Kenyans who want to study abroad um, before returning home or, or, or before remaining in Canada. Either way, um, there are some important factors that you must take into consideration in order to avoid uh, your application being refused. The first one is, and, 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 and a very important one, is that when you're applying to a study in Canada, the Canadian immigration officer, before they make a decision on your um, application, will need to be satisfied that you have a strong enough reason to want to return to Kenya after you're done studying inside Canada. Okay, they want to know that you are genuinely interested in studying in Canada and not merely wanting to use the study route as a means to just get to Canada and never leave. And so because of that, the officer will be asking or will be looking rather to see what kinds of financial and other ties you have to, 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 to Kenya. Okay, And when we talk about ties to Kenya or ties to your home country, the, the officer will specifically be looking at things like do you have any kind of um, financial assets in, in Kenya? You know, do you have property there? Do you have land or, or does your family, do your parents have property there? You know, um, do you have enough money in your bank account there? Um, do you, are you employed there? And um, do you have an employer who is willing to provide you with some kind of a promise of a job to return to when you're done studying? Uh, right? Do you have significant family ties in India that require, in rather in Kenya, that require you to go back to Kenya when you're done studying uh, to take care of, of these family uh, members? All of these are going to be important factors that may help to show that you have strong ties to your um, home country, Kenya. But that's a crucial factor. Will you uh, be able to convince the immigration officer that you have strong ties to your home country, Kenya, and therefore, as a result of those ties, you're less likely to want to return, um, you're less likely to want to overstay in Canada once you're done studying. So that's important, and that's the first thing you need to take into consideration. The second thing you need to take into consideration when you're wanting to apply from Kenya to Canada for a uh, study permit is that you need to make sure that the program of study in Canada, the school, the program of study that you've chosen, is one that um, is rationally connected to um, your previous area of study or your previous area of employment. There needs to be some kind of a logical connection, okay? So if you are currently a software engineer in, in Kenya, as an example, um, you do not want to be applying to come to study uh, as a nurse inside Canada, right? There needs to be some kind of a rational connection. So you, you, you would probably want to look for an IT-related field uh, in Canada that you want to study in, okay? But there needs to be a rational connection between the program of study you want to pursue inside Canada and what you've studied in Kenya previously. So the immigration officer is going to be looking for that. The third thing that the immigration officer is going to be looking for, among other things, is whether or not there is a natural progression in your study plan, okay? So if you already completed a bachelor's degree, 
in Kenya, then you will not want to be applying for um, a, an undergraduate diploma inside Canada because it wouldn't show that you're building on the platform you already have. Instead, you may want to look at getting, uh, at getting into a postgraduate uh, diploma program inside Canada or a master's program, which would be an obvious um, expansion on the, the study platform, the study foundations that you already have. These things are important because the immigration officer is trying to make a determination as to whether or not you are genuinely wanting to study inside Canada. And these are some of the factors that the immigration officer is going to be taking into, into consideration um, for a Kenyan national. So that would be factor number three. Okay, And just as uh, an, a little extra a bonus, a, third, a fourth thing that you will need to take into consideration as a Kenyan national is that you will need to be able to show that you have sufficient money to offset your stay in Canada for at least one year as well as your tuition. So if you're coming alone inside Canada, you will need to show that you are able to finance your living expenses inside Canada um, for the first year and you need to show that you have at least 10,000 Canadian dollars plus your tuition for one year. Okay, that's what you'll need to show if you're a single person coming to, to Canada. If you are two persons, then you will need to show at least 14,000 Canadian dollars plus your tuition for the first year. And the amount you need to show will increase by $3,000 per additional family member if you're wanting to take your, ent your entire family with you to Canada from Kenya. But in a nutshell, those are uh, three things plus a bonus that every Kenyan national must take into consideration before applying for your Canadian uh, study permit application. Now, if you decide that you want to apply for your study permit uh, in Canada, this is something that we're able to help with um, by helping you put together the strongest possible application. Okay? So I trust you found value from this uh, video. As always, remember to like our videos so that others will see more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified the next time we publish a video. And uh, check us out on our website at go.gooselaw.com and there you'll find details on how to reach us and how to schedule a call with us. Okay, so thank you so much and all the best.